Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss about perspective view. How to draw the perspective view? Perspective view means three dimensional diagram. Whatever we are seeing uh, any object, that view, whatever 3D view is coming, it is called perspective view. Or we can say uh, whatever image we are taking from camera, that image is also called perspective view. So let us do this view of the given square plane. Square plane means all four sides are equal. So for the square and plane means it has a negligible thickness. So this square plane perspective view we will do in this class. Let us take the given data. A square plane of side 50 mm. Each side of the square is 5 cm. Lies on the GP. GP means ground plane. Always remember. With, uh, so ground plane means uh, any horizontal plane. It is uh, this square plane is on the horizontal plane. Ground plane. With an edge parallel to 120 mm behind the PP. PP means picture plane. So I will roughly do these two planes. So these planes are imaginary planes. Ground plane, I am taking this horizontal plane like this. Okay. This is GP. On it, square plane is there. So here, this plane, one more plane, PP. Okay. It is called picture plane. So this picture plane is in front of the observer. Here, observer is standing on the ground plane. Okay. So this picture plane is perpendicular to this horizontal plane or GP. Okay, the angle between this plane, vertical plane and horizontal plane is 90 degrees. Okay, perpendicular to each other. So, these two planes are there. Observer is standing in front of picture plane. He is standing on the ground plane. Okay. So, these two planes are the imaginary planes. We did. And one more plane also I did here. Okay, this plane. It is passing through observer I. Okay, through observer. So, this plane is called CP, center plane. Okay, so GP, here picture plane, here center plane. This center plane is perpendicular to this ground plane, okay, and also perpendicular to picture plane, okay. If, it, if you are taking this angle, okay, this angle with picture plane, this is 90 degrees, okay, and it is also making 90 degrees with the GP. These three planes are important for doing the perspective view. Okay, here what he has given, one of the edge is parallel to and 20 mm behind the PP. One edge of the square plane is parallel to PP. So, this edge, any edge, it is parallel to the picture plane. Okay, so this edge is parallel to PP or this edge is parallel to PP like this. Okay, and then 20 mm behind the PP, 20 mm behind the PP means here, this is a picture plane. Behind this plane, this square plane will be there. Okay. In front of it, observer is standing. Behind this plane, this uh, square plane is there. And one of the edges is parallel to PP. Like this. Okay. This uh, Let us assume this is transparent one. Observer can see this square plane through this picture plane. Okay. Now, this is the given position of the square. And one more data has given. The station point. Station point means observer I. He is 60 mm in front of PP. So, observer I is in 60 mm in front of picture plane. So, this is a picture plane. He is standing in front of picture plane. The gap between picture plane and his eyes is 60 mm. Okay. So, here we can't mark. Roughly, I am taking this gap from picture plane to his eyes gap is 60 mm. It has given. Station point is 60 mm in front of PP, comma 65 mm above the GP. So this station point is 65 mm above GP. From ground plane, his eye or station point is 65 mm above. So here what I am taking, roughly I am doing for getting vertical distance it is from the GP to uh, I. So it is 65 mm. Vertical height is 65. This uh, gap is 60. And also this station point lies in a CP. Okay, already we did. Station point means observer I in the CP only. Okay. Which is, this station point is 55 mm towards right of the center of the square. Center of the square means this one. Towards the right. Right from the center, 55 mm distance, CP plane will be coming. Okay. 55 mm towards the right of the center of the square plane. Center of the square plane, right side. So, this distance is 55 mm. 
Okay, no need to draw in the sheet. Just for understanding this, I am doing here. Draw its perspective view. We need to draw the perspective view. Perspective view means already I told whatever the observer is seeing this plane. Okay, that whatever view is coming, it is the perspective view. So roughly how the perspective three-dimensional view is coming whenever some paper is uh, falling on the ground, if you are seeing this. So this type of diagram will come finally. It is a perspective. For doing this, let us do here. Roughly I did already. Okay. I will explain how to how I did I will explain how I did this one. So initially do one more plane. Okay. It is called uh, this plane is parallel to this ground plane. Okay. Imaginary plane. It is called axillary ground plane. Okay. If we see from top this square plane. So let us take all planes are transparent planes. Okay, if you see from top, this is looking like exact square. Okay, so top view is coming exactly square. Whatever view is coming exactly the given polygon or square, do that view initially. So we had to do the top view initially because in top view we can see the square. Okay, so each side is five centimeter. So we see this image here in this. Axillary ground plane. Okay, and uh, this axillary here roughly I am doing this plane we are seeing from the top. Okay, because it is transparent one, we are uh, assuming it is here. Okay, the image is coming here. So it is how much distance? 20 mm behind the PP. So this is 20 mm. This gap is okay. This gap is 20 mm. Initially, we are keeping the plane 20 mm behind the PP. So this 20 mm gap also we can see. Okay, after that, after 20 mm, we can see this line, PP line. So, after doing the square, just roughly add it, 20 mm distance, add it PP. Okay, square is coming like horizontal way, but we are tilting because we are doing all the diagram in the 2D view. Okay, so this square is, we are seeing, so below 20 here, we can see this line PP. Okay, do some length of PP. After that, this is the top view of the square. We need to do the top view of the center. We have to do the top view of the station point also. Station point means observer. From top, so we are seeing this gap from profile picture. 60 mm gap. We are seeing the station point. Yes. Okay. So from PP, it takes 60 mm like this. 60 mm gap. And how much distance from center of the plane? 55 mm. So, take the center of the plane from 55 mm and this is 60 mm mark the intersection point. This is a station point. Okay. In the top view, we are seeing this gap from observer to profile picture. Okay. From profile picture, we have to take the 60 mm one thin line. Okay. On it, mark this 55 from center. So, this is the observer in the top view. Okay. After that, this is the top view of the square. This is the top view of the observer, this point. Okay, and then we have to do at some gap one more line. Okay, this is the top view. We have to do the front view of the observer also. Front view of the observer means like this, we have to see. How much distance observer is from ground plane? 65. Okay, this gap we can see from the front view. So, from this line, we have to take the 65 mm line, GL, ground line we have to take. And uh, above this, here one line is passing through the observer eye like this. It is also observer uh, imaginary line. I am taking this is a horizontal line, which is passing through the center line, uh, center plane and observer eye. Okay, this is 65. So take 65 here. So HL I am taking horizontal line. Okay. So here, yes, already we have marked it. Just drop one projectile line. We will see the H dash. So here we have to do the front view of it. For doing the front view, initially we had to do this by using the drawing instruments. After that, we will get this perspective view. Okay. Let us do this diagram by using the drawing instruments. This is a rough diagram. We do by using instruments, all the diagrams. Here, this is 5 centimeter of square. Okay. Let us do here. Here take 90 degrees line. So in this direction 5 centimeter.
now here also 5 centimeter just take go, just take this line is a reference line move the scale and do the parallel line on it mark 5 centimeter now join these two we will get the square okay, after this square take 20 mm gap and then do the pp line so here 20 distance 10 20 okay so at this point okay at 20 mm we will do this pp line so at this point we will do the pp line so this is 20 mm after 20 mm we will do this pp line okay. take this as a reference line move the scale and here do the pp line after this pp line so from 60 station point will there okay so from center 55 distance just do one line at 60 mm so just do here one line for marking the distance okay from this pp take 60 here already i have marked here 60 mm okay from pp here one point is here okay at this point i will do the horizontal line okay like this just take this is the reference line move the scale up to this point and here do the horizontal line okay doing the thin line okay on which from center of this we need to take 55 mm okay center of it means at 5 centimeter 2.5 okay just do one line here okay, from this line it is 55 so this is 5 centimeter so center means 2.5 okay so just do one line up to this thin line take this is the reference line take this is the reference line move the scale up to this center point okay here do the vertical line up to this thin line so i did the thin line so from it 55 distance on this line Fifty-five distance from center of the square to this distance station point distance is 55 okay if you check here you will get 55 distance okay this is the 55 so this gap is 55 now on the same line h dash is situated okay after some gap we can do any gap we have to do the hl line okay take any gap okay i took small gap and i did the parallel line and s and h dash are coming on the same line okay it's called projector line after doing this hl line okay so from hl takes from 65 do one more horizontal line it is called ground line gl so here from this line take 65 already i have marked one point here 65 so at this point we will do the line parallel to this this is the reference line move the scale here up to this point do the horizontal line here by using pencil so at this point i did the line this line is called gl okay ground line so after getting pp hl and gl what we have to do we have to give the names of this square okay we have to give in the small letters a b c d take all these points a b c d join with s by using the scale we will get the inclined line like this from b to s c to s d to s by using scale do it from a to s okay i joined a b c d to s okay after getting these inclined lines now mark the intersection points intersection points of this inclined line and this picture plane line so a line i am taking this point intersection point is a1 d i am taking b1 from c i am taking c1 from d i am taking d1 after getting all these points from a and b we will get on projector line do up to this gl okay ground line similarly from here also do one line okay actually from each point we have to do but here two two points are coming on the same line okay from all the points we have to do the projector lines up to this last gl line but here two points are coming on the same line do here one projector line here one projector line by using the scale up to gl line did one line here up to gl here also i did one line now here on this line both a and b are coming that's why i'm marking both points are at the same point a dash comma b dash here also d and c are coming on the same line take the intersection point c dash d dash we are getting these points join these points to h dash by using the scale join to h dash 
like this. We will get the inclined line at both the points. Okay. Join these points to H dash. Okay. Here also we got the inclined lines. Here also we got the inclined lines. Okay. Now after that, wherever these points are there, from this point, A inclined line, okay, do one projectile line up to A line. So this is A line. Similarly, from B, do the vertical line up to B. So this one. Okay. The A and B are on the same line. Like that from C to C, D to D like that. We will get the projectile lines. Okay. Take this is the reference line. Side of the square. Move the scale. From each point, from B1, do the vertical line, projectile line like this up to B. So this is B. Okay. Let us do. From B, one vertical line up to this, I am giving the name capital B. Similarly, next A, from A1, do the line up to A. This is A line. Okay. Like that you do all the lines. After B, at A also I did vertical line up to A inclined line. So take the intersection point capital A. Okay. Now after that, take this is the reference. Next point is, take this is the reference. Next point is C, C1. Okay, from C1 also, do the line up to C. So this C inclined line. Okay, here. C1 also I did the line up to C inclined line. Take this intersection point is capital C. Okay. Similarly, from D also do the vertical line up to D. Okay. Take this is the reference. Move the scale up to D1. Do the vertical line here. From D1 also I did the line up to D. Okay. Like this. So the intersection point is capital D. Now we got A, B, C, D. Join all these points by using scale. We will get the perspective view of the square. Let us do. Join A to B with thick line. So this perspective view on top you should be in dark color. Joined all these points A, B, C, D by using scale with dark lines. This is the perspective view. If observer is seeing this plane, a square plane, it is looking like this. If they are asking, do the side view also. So here, actually, here whatever gap is there, this one. Uh, this is this is the observer is watching from this side, and this is the side view of this square. Okay, it is looking like a line here, this line. Okay, this is the side view. So this side view and perspective view on top should be in dark color compared to all uh, inclined lines and projector lines. Okay. And here mark the given dimension, square side is 50 mm, keep one of the square, small square 50, no need to mark all four sides, keep only one side and after 50 mark 20 mm, this 20 mm and then next 60 mm, 60 mm and uh, this gap from center to this station point is 55 mm, so this is from center to this uh, station is 55 mm, after that 65 mm, so this is a 65 mm. So this is a method of doing the perspective view of a given plane. If you like this lecture, hit the like button, subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.